Whoever targeted that business on the city's northwest side had an agenda. As our Rich Van Wyke reports tonight, the question is why and who were they trying to hurt? All the spray paint, the grease smeared over the building, a fire set out back. It is so much more than vandalism. The message makes it a hate crime. Aimed at business owner Rajesh Portnight and his wife. It's shocking. I mean, I, we were, and it, it hurts. I have never seen anything like this before. And I've lived in the U.S. for, I think, about just a little over nine years. Portnight and his family emigrated from India. The messages scrawled over the windows, walls, and doors reference Hindu gods, traitors, and Satanists. The person probably knows something, maybe something superficially about uh, Hinduism, and they probably just don't like the fact that the <laughs> people practicing Hinduism, I guess. Neighboring business owners say Portnight is a great guy, friendly and helpful. They're trying to understand why anyone would do something like this. It's just hate. People don't understand. Do they? They don't understand this religion. They don't understand these people. This man's done nothing to anybody. So Ina Prahanko came here from Russia 30 years ago and owns the business next door. It makes me sad how little people can be, that their minds are so small. Portnight says he's not scared, just rattled and thinking. Well, probably somebody who uh, just doesn't understand uh, the, that, you know, people of different faiths can coexist. Uh, that's the only thing that I can think of. I really cannot you know, think of anybody else who would want to do this. Scrapers, fresh paint, elbow grease will clean a lot of this up pretty quickly. The message, though, the message of hate will live on with the victims for perhaps a lifetime. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Indiana is one of only five states without hate crime legislation. We're talking about laws that increase the punishment for crimes motivated by race, religion, sex, disability, gender identity, or sexual orientation. An effort to pass a hate crime law failed last February. Opponents contend hate crime laws treat victims of similar crimes differently.